I'm going to show you how to write a VBA program to save data into a simple text file. Here it is. The first thing I've done is declare a string variable and into that I'm loading the path and the name of the file. Now this is a little bit inflexible hard coding a path. What I could do is this active workbook dot path and that will give me the path of the workbook bearing the code and onto the end of that I can catenate the name of the file. This command opens the file. So you can see the syntax open the name and the path of the file for append. In other words I want to write data to the file and the as clause here is allowing me to give that file a handle just hash1. I can refer to that file as hash1 later on. Finally, I'm using the write command repeatedly to write comma separated values into that file. So here we go, write into file number one and then I've got a variety of string data and numeric data, each separated by commas. I use the write command again and I'm writing some different information into that file. You can see this is data about different types of cars. Once I've written into the file, I then close it, and I've got a little message box just to let me know the program's come to an end. I should point out that if the file doesn't already exist, then the file will be created. If it does exist, it will simply open the existing file and append the data to the end of it. So let's see what happens. Before I do, if we just examine the folder where the file is, you can see here I have my workbook. There's no text file there yet. And when I run the program, check the folder, you can see I have a new text file in there. Open that up with Notepad, and there's my data. As I said before, these are comma separated values. It is just a simple text file, but sometimes these are saved with the extension CSV. So to summarize, we open the file for append, in other words we want to write to the file, we give it a file handle, and then we repeatedly use the write command to write comma separated values into that file, remembering to close it when we finished.